knocked over a lamp and I broke it, but I was able to put it in the room next to me when house cleaning came, so I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> that is a joke. I got a mean letter one time. I was like, I'm just joking. Now, I didn't, what was wrong? My mind didn't match up with the structure of the room. I didn't have a mental map of the way that that room is actually organized. Now, if I wake up at my house and things are black for whatever reason, I know exactly how to get to my kids. I know how to get to the kitchen to get a drink of water. I know where the bathroom's at, the sink, whatever it is, because my mental map matches up with reality. A worldview is a mental map of reality, and it shapes the way we interpret the world. In fact, you want to know the power of a worldview? In the 17th century was the first time people in the Western world had been exposed to this little odd animal called the platypus. You know what's unique about a platypus is what? It's a mammal, but it does what? It lays eggs. Well, they came to the Western world, and some explorers came back, and they said, we've seen this animal. It's a platypus. It's a mammal, but it lays eggs. And almost nobody would believe them. Because their conception was either you have reptiles that lay eggs or you have mammals. That was their perspective of reality. So some explorers went back, returned with a mother who died who actually had a young inside of her and showed them physical proof. Still, many people were not persuaded that the platypus is real. You see, the way we interpret the world, we put it into categories, shapes how we understand reality. And if our mental map is not correct... Right? If it's faulty in some way, we will misinterpret reality. That's what a worldview is. Now, I'm going to give you, a, or actually before I do that, I want to show you a, a quote by one of my professors at Biola. He put it this way. J.P. Moreland, he said, this is why truth is so powerful. It allows us to cooperate.